Hello everyone, my name is Val and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will show you one of my lessons focusing on various classroom reading strategies. This lesson is designed for grade 4 students and is based on the book Travel with Abby. It is about Abby, an alien from planet X who shows his planet to two children, Amy and Jeff. I cover the content of this book in three lessons. The first lesson tells children about the solar system. The second lesson introduces modern cars. And the third lesson, the one you're about to see, focuses on reading the story. Most ESL teachers use the popcorn reading technique when they teach storybooks. But I think that popcorn reading is not a very effective tool to make students better readers or keep their attention on the book. In this lesson, I will show you an alternative way to popcorn reading. It's neither perfect nor ideal but it works well in my classes. If you like, I can make a separate video that focuses on various reading strategies and techniques different from popcorn reading. If you want this to happen, please let me know in the comment section below after you watch my lesson. Hmm. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more content. Also, a big shout out to my patrons, Martina and Peter, who stay with me throughout the rains, storms, hail and snow. Thank you. Enjoy the lesson and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Hello everyone! Hello, Hello. How are you today? I'm going to ask one boy and one girl. Raise your hand. Raise your hand. Yes, sir. How are you today? I'm very happy because today I can go home. You, today you can go home. Nice. Thank you very much. Thank you. How are you today, Miss? I'm happy too because, because I can have Oh, thank you very much. And this is for you. As always. Thank you very much. Thank you. Great. Okay, my helper. Where's my helper? Can you please tell me how many boys, boy, boys and girls have a uh, star? Sorry, no star. How many stars? Stars. Boys and boys has one star. Uh-huh. Girls has one star too. Okay. So boys and girls have one star each, right? Yes, okay, great. So, let's see who wins today and let's go through the rules. What is rule number one? Rule number one is play your best. What is rule number two? Rule number two is be quiet. What is rule number three? Rule number three is listen to teacher well. What is rule number four? Number five. Rule number five is raise your hand. What is rule number six? Rule number six is study hard. And what do I want you to remember? It's okay to make mistakes, but it's not okay to break the rules. Correct. Thank you very much. And now we are going to review. What did we learn last week? Who can tell me? What did we learn last week? Last week we learned about cars. Excellent. Yes. Last week we learned about cars. Let's review the car brands. I'm going to say the number and you need to say the car brand together. Okay? Okay. All right. One. Four. One. Four. Two. Toyota. Two. Toyota. Three. Three. Tesla. Four. 
for Volkswagen. 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 Five. Mer Mercedes. 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 Five. does your dad drive? Yes. Your dad drives a Toyota. Thank you. What car? Yes. My mom drives BMW. Drives? Drives BMW. A, a BMW. BMW. Thank you very much. Yes. Uh, my dad drives Mercedes. A and my Mercedes. Mercedes. Ah, Mercedes. Mercedes. Thank you very much. My mom oh. drives, drives a Tesla. A Tesla. Thank you. Good. Okay. Wonderful. So tell me, why do we need cars? Why do we need cars? Yes. We need cars to travel. Excellent. Good girl. Yes. We need cars to travel. Please read everyone. We need cars to travel and help us carry things. That's right. Okay, we're going to skip all that. And we are going to read today. Today is a reading class. We are going to finish our book. Okay? okay. But we will read in fun ways. So this is where we stopped last time. Tell me. What can children see on the way? What can they see on the way? Yes, sir. They can on the way? On the way, they see many different kinds of cars. Thank you very much. Correct. Now, who can tell me why are there no traffic jams on Planet X? Why no traffic jams? Yes, sir. Because... Uh, full sentence. There are no... There are no traffic jams on, the, on Planet X. Because, have, because they have three ways to drive cars on the road, in the water, or in the air. Excellent. Sounds so good. A full sentence. That's really nice. Thank you very much. So look, now we are going to read and listen. After each page, there will be a pop quiz, which is going to check your Okay, so you need to read carefully and will read in different ways. So now, girls, you ask the question, boys, you answer, okay? Girls, you start in one, two, three, go. What, what is that? Jeff. Boys. Take a good look at this page because in three, two, one, we have a pop quiz. And I need one boy and one girl to answer a simple question. All right, let's try. Okay, you two, please stand up and choose A, B, C, or D. You need to say it quickly. Can you see? Okay, ready? And everybody else, be quiet. No teaching. What does Jeff ask? Hey, what is it? Hey. What do you think? C. C. And the correct answer is C. It's okay. He asked, what is that? That was the correct answer. So boys get three points. One, two, three. That's okay. That's okay. There are other, there are other pages. Next. Who can tell me what this is in English? A car? Let's see if we have sounds. Car. It's a car alarm. Together, car alarm. Car alarm. Write it 
it in your notebook. Car alarm. Look, a car alarm goes off. Why? Why does it go off? Who can tell me? Yes. Because Abby's car is out of energy. Excellent. Thank you very much. Yes. Abby's car is electric, like a Tesla. Yes. So it is out of energy, which means his car ran out of battery. So how do we say out of battery in Chinese? Huh? Mei shama? Yes, for example, you can say, Oh no, my phone is out of battery. I can't call my mommy. Right? So write it down. You can say, my phone, my phone is out of battery. Together, my phone is out of battery. My phone is out of battery. Which means, what the show G made. Yes. That's right, that's right. So look, Abby's car is out of battery. So what does he do? He pulls up to an energy station. Together, pull up. Pull up. Pull up. Pull up. For example, he pulled up his car to a gas station. What's a gas station? Come on. That's right, Jiaoyang. Gas station. Can Abby's car go to a gas station? Yes or no? No. No. Why not? Because it is electric. electric. So he needs to go to a charging station, yeah? He needs to go there. Why? Because he can charge his car battery. If your phone is out of battery, what do you need? You need to charge it, yeah? How do you say, I need to charge it? What should you ask, so Abby needs to charge his car battery there. Look what happens. It's very clever on Planet X. This is a cleaner, you see? The cleaners collect garbage and then they send all this garbage to the energy station here. This is the energy station. And then this energy station turns all this garbage into energy. And this energy goes into Abby's car. Do you see that? That's really cool. They're recycling there on Planet X. So take a good look at this page. Because in three, two, one, we have a pop quiz. And we need a one more and one more. One and two. Please stand up. Big <clears throat> LR, A, B, C, or D. Ready? All right. Which one? B. What do you think? D. D. The correct answer is B. Well done. Pulls up. Can everyone read this for me, please? Together. Abby's car is out of energy. So he pulls off to an energy station. That's right. Very good. Let's go on. Okay, now this part, we're going to read it this way. Teacher Val reads. When Teacher Val stops, you read. Okay? When teacher Val raises his hand, you stop. Okay? Do you understand? Let's try. Abby drives on and... He parks the car in an... The elevator sends the car... Up to the parking lot. 
Very good, very good. What's a parking lot? What's a parking lot? That's right, that's right. Parking lot. We, what can we do in the parking lot? We can park our cars there. So look at this word, park. It has two meanings. If it's a noun, it means yuan, right? But it's not a noun here, it's a verb. And if it's a verb, it means yes. You can park your car in the parking lot. That's right. Can your moms and dads park well? Do they park well? Yes. Yes, yes. yes. your mom parks well. Your dad parks well. What about your grandparents? Yes. yes. Your grandparents park well? Yes. yes. Who's uh, your grandparent? Uh, grandma or grandpa? Grandpa and grandpa. So your grandma and grandpa park well. What's your name? Iris. Iris. I have a secret video of Iris's granddad parking the car. I filmed it secretly when he didn't see it. You want to see? You want to see Iris's grandpa parking the car? His, her grandpa is really cool. Take a look. Iris's grandpa parking the car. Look at that. <laughs> How cool is that? You see? Can your mom and dad park like that? Yes. No, only Iris's grandpa can. <laughs> only him. All right. So now, Abby parks the car in elevator. Yes, he parks the car in the elevator, and it goes up. So this page is going to go in three, two, one. Fuck with. Who wants to try? A one boy and one girl. Let me see. One and two. Please stand up. You two. Okay. Choose A, B, C, or D. Ready? Where does Debbie park his car? A. D. Huh? D. D. And that is correct. Well done. He parks in the elevator and the elevator goes up. Look, he parks the car in an elevator. This is the Suika Shiva Suika. All right, good. Okay, where does Abby take them? If you don't know the word in English, you can say it in Chinese. Where does Abby take them? Yes. He takes them to his Xiao Chu. Who can tell me what Xiao Chu is in English? I know. Do you know? No. I'll teach you. Xiao Chu in English is pretty long. We say apartment complex. Write it down. Apartment. Sure. Apartment complex. Complex. Apartment complex. Apartment complex. Apartment complex. Apartment complex. How do we say it in Chinese? Teacher Bell wrote it in Chinese. Did I write it correctly? Yes. So I get a point. I get a point. Okay, good. All right, so now let's read this after me. I read, you repeat. Ready? Listen to me. Abby takes them to his apartment complex. The houses are all different here. Go. Abby takes them to his apartment complex. The houses are all different here. Good. Here. This part we are going to read in three different ways. First, you are going to read it silently, okay? Two, you are going to read it loudly. And three, you are going to read it quickly, okay? Let's try. So first, silently. Three.
Okay, so now let's read it loudly. Ready? Go. Well, well, Quickly, listen to me first. Well, that is my house. Come with me. I'll show you something interesting. Oh. Ready? Quickly. <laughs> good, 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 good. Very good. Very good. Until you get a point. Now, what does Abby point to? He points to a round house. And look, this house, this house. Abby's house. It looks like a flying saucer. Don't write this word. Look, this is a cup and saucer. And a flying saucer is also a UFO. But flying saucer is old English. Nobody speaks like that anymore. We say UFO. Yeah? This is a UFO. Look, this is Abby's spaceship. Teacher Val filmed it on his phone. Really? Abby's spaceship. All right, so here we go. Take a good look at this page. Three, two, one. Bakuez! Bakuez! Oh, one boy! One. Who hasn't tried yet? Okay, two. All right, this one, two is A, B, C, or D. <coughs> Ready? Everybody be quiet. What shape is Abby's house, A, B, C, or D? C. C. Yes, he points to a round house, which means it's a circle. Very good, correct, thank you. You were right too, but she was a little bit faster. Thank you very much. Sit down. Girls get three points. Okay. Now, this part you are going to read silently. I will not help. I will give you uh, I will give you seven seconds. Okay? So you are going to read by yourself. Ready? One, two, three, go. Read. No, 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 silently. All right, so now tell me, what does Abby show them? Yes. He shows them a dream maker. He shows them a dream maker. What, thank you. What can you do? Yes. Make your dreams. It can make your dreams or it can design your dreams. A dream maker looks like a phone. You take it to bed, and then you tell it what, to, what you want to dream about. You can say, I want to dream that tomorrow I have no homework. And then you sleep so well. Or you can go, doo -doo 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 -doo. I want to dream that tomorrow I have no school. I can sleep all day. I can have cake for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I can play video games and read books. And then, right? Would you like to have a dream maker? Yeah. Yeah, me too. Me too. All right, so take a good look at this page because in three seconds, we are going to have a hot All right, one boy and one girl. All right, one. And who hasn't tried? She hasn't tried. Please stand up. All right, ready? A, B, C, or D. This one is easy. Here we go. Where are the children? A, B. Where are the children? In the bedroom. So A is the correct one. Thank you. Sit down. Girl, get. Point. And here's the last page. Listen. 
All right, okay. So there are five sentences here, and uh, we are going to read it sentence by sentence. But, look, how are we, how are we gonna read it? Uh, I will tell you how to read. So for example, uh, I can say, read like you are angry. And you can say, Abby opens the red box in the room. Or I can say, read like you are sad. And you can say, Abby opens the red box in the room. <laughs> yeah? Or I can say, for example, read like you are scared. And you say, oh, Abby opens a red box in the room. Right? So you, every time, it'll be different. So who wants to try? Five children. One, stand up. It's here, don't go. Two, three, four, and one more. Five. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. One student, one sentence. Okay? So you read like you're angry. Go. Abby opened a red box in the room. Excellent, thank you very much. Now you read like you're excited. There is a big red machine in it. Good, very good. Machine, thank you. You read like you're sad. This is a space. Thank you very much. Now, sit down. Now you read like you are scared. Very good, thank you. And you read like you really want to go to the toilet. Like you really, really need to go. Very good. Well done. Well done, everybody. Well done. Everybody gets a point. Good job. Okay. So now, look. Now the children are going to home. Yes? They are they are in the spaceship and the spaceship takes them to Earth. They had a wonderful time on Planet X and they're saying goodbye to Abby. And Abby tells them, it's okay, you can tell all the children on Earth, they can come visit me every time. All right, the last pop quiz, are you ready? Here we go, who wants to try the last one? Okay, that boy, one, and you haven't tried two. That's an easy one. What color is the box in the room? D. Huh? D. D. He was a little bit faster. That is correct. Thank you very much. D. That is correct. Okay. So let's see. What do you remember? What do you remember? Question one. What is the title of the book together? The title of the book is Planet X. Really? Yes, Planet X is lesson three. Book number one is? Travel with Abby. Right, together. Travel with Abby. Boy, but Ijuqua, the title of the book? The title of the book is Travel with Abby. Travel with Abby, correct. Okay, who are the characters? Yes. Abby, Abby, Amy, Amy, and Jack. Yes, everybody. Abby, Abby Jack, Jack, and, and Amy. Amy. That's right. Okay. Who is Abby? Who is Abby? He's an alien. He's an alien. Everybody, read. Abby is an alien. He is a god. And Abby is Dino's friend. That's right. They're all from space. Correct. Okay. Uh, where does Abby live? Where does Abby live? Where does he live? Where does he live? Yep. Yeah. Yes. Together. He lives on planet X. That's 
right. What is this book about? What is it about? Yes. This book? Yeah, and yes, who traveled to planet X? That's right, very good. Thank you. Everybody, please read. It is about. That's right, that's right. And what did they see on planet X? Do you remember? Yes. They saw. They saw the car. They saw cars. Thank you. They saw cars. They saw houses. Yes. What else? They saw parking lots. They saw parking lots. Very good. Please read. They saw different kinds of cars, a trailer, and entry station, a parking lot in the air, and a train delivery. And these houses. That's right. And what did we learn from the book? Remember, we had three lessons. What did we learn from the book? Yes. We learn about? We learn about the we learn about the solar system, modern, modern cars, and, and X. X. That's right. Thank you very much. Correct. Everyone please read. Tell me, which lesson did you like best? The solar system cars for planet X and Y. Yes, 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 please. I like the lessons. Uh, I like the lessons about the solar system. About planet X. Best. Best. Because? It's interesting. Because it's interesting. Thank you. Yes, sir? Yeah. I, I like, like I like the lesson, the lesson about the bee. About bee. <laughs> the bee. <laughs> we did have a lesson Car. about bee. Car. Cars. Yes. So I like the lesson about uh, cars. Cars. Because. Because it. Because it was cool. Thank you. Well done. Yes, 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 yes. I like the lesson about the solar system test because we learned many moons. We learned about moons, planets, and stars. Excellent. Thank you very much. Okay, one more boy. Do we have one more boy? Okay, thank you. Well done. Okay, good job. So now, everybody. I need you to copy this for your exam. How should the one be? Copy everything. Title, characters, setting means where does the story take place. Plot means what is it about. We finished book number one. And I will ask you questions. These questions from book number one. Next lesson, we're going to have a big review to review three lessons uh, the solar system, cars and planet X big review I made a big game for you to make it fun so please review everything because if you answer my questions you can get points if you don't answer questions it's you lose points so please review So now, practice in pairs. All these questions. Ask each other and answer. Okay? In pairs. Okay? Okay. Go. Oh yeah, before you do that, before you do that, today girls swim. Girls swim. 
the boy's story, they get a star. Where's my helper? My helper, please write it in your notebook. And now practice in pairs, pair work. Ask questions and answer. Go. Okay, we're good.